Sohai Satellite Launching Station, Chosangal, Sohai Wizongbol Sajang Hansha, Shihai Waizing Fashi Chang Mister, Sohai Wisong Pal Sajang, also known as Tongchang Dong Space Launch Center and Pongdong Ri, is a rocket launching site in Tongchang Ri, Cholson County, North Pyongan Province, North Korea. The base is located among hills close to the northern border with China. The spaceport was built on the site of the village Pongdong Ri, which was displaced during construction. It was the site for the 13th of April 2012 launch of the North Korean satellite Kwangnongsong-3, which was launched to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the birth of Kim Il-sung. The rocket launch failed, but on the 12th of December of the same year, Kwangnongsong-3 Unit 2 was successfully launched and brought into Earth orbit. The launches were controversial as they were dismissed by the U.S. as tests of ballistic missile technology and hence a breach of an agreement made between North Korea and the USA in February 2012. During the 2018 North Korea United States summit, Kim Jong un promised that North Korea would destroy a missile engine test stand soon. The site was not initially named but was later identified to be the Sohai satellite launching ground by U.S. officials. This pledge was made official as part of the Pyongyang Declaration which Kim and South Korean leader Moon Jae-in signed at the September 2018 Inter-Korean Summit. History Signs of construction were visible during the early 1990s and became more pronounced by the early 2000s. A major progress in the construction was discovered in 2008 by Jane's Information Group, which requested imagery from the satellite company Digital Globe. Movements from the Sanamdong Missile Research Factory with the Erector Transporter and Railroad, road transportation to the Space Center of a prototype UNHA-3 class booster first two stages initially took place over 29–31 May 2009 possibly for logistics testing as well as personnel facilities infrastructure testing training purposes. The results of those tests suggest that military and design specialists ultimately decided to build a facilities access railroad to cut down the 15-kilometer road access logistics issues to the space center. By early 2011 it was reported that the construction was completed and that it had been under construction for a decade. The first official mention of the site took place in March 2012 when North Korea announced it will launch from that site the satellite Kwangmyongsong-3. On April 2012, prior to the launch of the satellite, Jang Myong Jin, director of the SOHI, introduced the launching process of the UNHA-3 rocket Korean, Yunya-3HO, Yinhe-3 during a guided media tour, the first launch of KWANGMYONGSONG-3 on 12 April 2012 failed. On 1 December 2012, the Korean Central News Agency announced that a second version of KWANGMYONGSONG-3 was to be launched from Sohai between 10–22 December 2012. North Korea declared the launch successful, and the South Korean Military and North American Aerospace Defense Command NORAD reported that initial indications suggested that an object had achieved orbit. North Korea had previously claimed the Kwangmyongsong-1 and Kwangmyongsong-2 launches successful, despite American military sources confirming that they failed to achieve orbit. On the 7th of February 2016, North Korea successfully launched a long-range rocket carrying the satellite KWANGMYONGSONG-4 from the station. Critics suggest that the real purpose of the launch was test a ballistic missile. The launch was strongly condemned by the UN Security Council. A statement broadcast on Korean Central Television said that a new Earth observation satellite, KWANGMYONGSONG-4, had successfully been put into orbit less than 10 minutes after lift-off from the Sohai Space Center in North Fyongan Province. North Korea's National Aerospace Development Administration stated the launch was an epochal event in developing the country's science, technology, economy and defense capability by legitimately exercising the right to use space for independent and peaceful purposes." The launch prompted South Korea and the United States to discuss the possibility of placing an advanced missile defense system in South Korea, a move strongly opposed by both China and Russia.
Topic: Facilities. The entire facility occupies over 6 square kilometers and consists of a launch site, a static rocket motor test stand, vehicle checkout and processing buildings, a launch control building, a large support area, a complex headquarters building and an entry control point. The site is 5 times larger than Tongay launch site. There is much speculation about the functions of different parts of the site but the nuances of satellite photography based guesswork may not be communicated effectively in the mass media. Western sources identified a building as a high bay processing facility, which turned out to be the launch control center when the site was visited by journalists. The building previously identified as the control center was actually an observation point. Topic. Dismantlement and international inspection In July 2018, North Korea began dismantling the Sohai Satellite Launching Station. Satellite images taken between 20 and of July showed the destruction of a rocket engine test stand used to develop liquid fuel engines for ballistic missiles, space launch vehicles and a rail-mounted processing building where space launch vehicles were assembled before being moved to the launch pad commercial satellite imagery from 3 August 2018 confirmed that additional dismantlement activities were taking place at Sohai as well, including the destruction of facilities vertical engine test stand and fuel, oxidizer bunkers. In September 2018, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and South Korean leader Moon Jae-in signed the Pyongyang Joint Declaration of September 2018, which, among other things, pledged for North Korea to complete its dismantlement of so high and allow foreign experts to observe the dismantling of the missile engine testing site and a launch pad. By 10 October 2018, commercial satellite imagery confirmed that the site's legacy fuel, oxidizer bunker located at the launch pad had been largely removed. Officials from South Korea's National Intelligence Service who visited the site on 31 October 2018 stated that Sohai was in fact being dismantled and was ready for an upcoming international inspection. However, days after the 2019 North Korea United States Hanoi summit ended in February 2019 without an agreement, new open source satellite images showed that the site was undergoing reconstruction and appeared operational. See also Tongay Satellite Launching Ground Pungi Re Nuclear Test Site